Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue our endless run here with the Believer Abnormal Couch Special. Um, we're getting kind of hard carried by this 600 armor <laughs> fairy tale um, because we believe in magic. And then uh, our couch at some point, I'll find it when I scroll down here. It's at the very bottom because we started with it. Uh, it's giving us 3500 HP regen. It's pretty decent. I think I think that's a fair and reasonable amount of HP regen. Anyway, if you haven't seen the first like three videos on this, I'll put those in the description below. Basically, we started with a random item that was couch and that kind of dictated our whole run from there. Items give us uh, more positive stats than normal, but 150% um, more negative stats. So it's been kind of a balancing act. And then all the level up upgrades have turned into items instead because of abnormal which compounds this uh item stack stuff so that's why you had to have some dump stats uh also level 190. i'm just gonna take factory here so we get more materials so we don't want to spend any money uh because we do have three paddings unfortunately we can't find any weapons in the shop because i took a prohibition from uh, uh i think it's the diversified mod I believe that's correct. We have a couple, we have a few installed right now, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's diversified. Anyway, uh, basically, there's no more weapons in the shop. And by basically, I mean, that's exactly what it is. There's no more weapons in the shop. Uh, our stats are ridiculous. But most of our damage, I think, is going to come from alien eyes here. This also might be the strongest build I've ever had, because normally what happens is... At this point, an endless run. We're like super tardigrade and dodge dependent. But we've almost got like 10k HP and we're healing it an absurd rate. Like, we heal 415 a second. Uh, Repost is like super underperforming if this damage dealt number is real. Like, I know it says 26 million, but comparatively, it's really bad. I'm still gonna take it because it's three damage. I'm also gonna take alloy. I wanna stay above dodge cap, but like, we take that uh, vigilante ring is a nice pickup. We're gonna skip cake. Just, there's really no point in it. Whetstone is fine because it's percent damage because we have uh, bloody hand. Do we take another ricochet? I, I feel like it's probably worth it. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, don't take Feather. That actually breaks the game because you, you get 135% dodge and you can't die. Which, uh, that feels like cheating to me. I mean, we're doing some degenerate stuff here, but just outright being unable to die doesn't sound fun. Um, take Alien Eyes again. Oh, it's done a lot. Oh, it's 1.7 billion. Is that what I'm seeing? And if I move the decimals over. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a big number. I'm gonna take Alien Eyes. Um, I'm trying to avoid taking, let's take pen here. I'm trying to avoid getting our dodge down too low. I'm also trying to increase our like actual percent damage just for the sake of alien eyes, since that's where most of our stuff is coming from. Uh, metal detector we definitely want. Uh, Ball is also done a fair bit of damage, I would say. I think that's fair. We have, like, all these synergy items, if you haven't seen the rest of the run. I don't know. We're kind of, um, broken. Also, we can't move. I I'm, I'm sure that was inferred by the couch that had, you know, plus 3,500 healing. Since it's based on our negative speed, but, um, we can't move. And actually not moving, or moving makes us significantly weaker because we have a ton of statues and uh, barricades and stuff that rely on us not moving. And oddly enough, with the Believer character and the stats, you know, amplified on items, statue becomes incredibly strong. Like you get 60% attack speed when you stand still for each statue. And the minus 25% speed is, um, you know, good for us, like really good, so. So yeah, and we're just gaining so many materials. Also, hunting trophy is 49% chance to get a 
49% chance to get a, a material when an enemy dies. So we get more stuff. Uh, I'm just going to keep taking the grinds. All right, so we get to triple the next item we have. We could take a, three metal detectors here. I think I'm fine with that, actually. I mean... Metal Detector has some insane synergy with uh, Torn Pocket, which we have over here. Um, basically, it's whenever um, an enemy dies, you have a 10% chance to drop a material. And then Metal Detector has a 7% uh, chance 10 times to double the amount of materials you pick up. So it kind of like gets out of control. I don't know. Um, I, I wish we had like potato throwers or an Excalibur or something, kind of, but it's it's all right. Um, we have enough alien eyes and ricochets now that they can kind of cover everything. I'm honestly waiting for something in the game to break because we have so many mods installed right now. But if it doesn't, that's that's kind of cool. <laughs> that would that would be nice. I'm honestly surprised we've gotten this far. Like, I, I thought we were gonna clear 40, but the fact that we were able to, like, easily, like, no diff 60 and 70 is impressive. I think that's also due to the change in scaling from the 1.0 version versus early access. I'm pretty sure their damage used to be higher. But I might be wrong, I don't know. Uh, did we the lottery ticket? Yes. Yes, we did win. We did win the lottery. It's all paying off. That's so many leaves. Yeah, we just take barricade here. I know we already have an absurd amount of armor, and the screen does cut off here. There's not much I can do about it, because the level up screen's not supposed to have this, so it is what it is. Um, Jetpack? It's too much speed. We do need to get some more dodge, though. We have a lot of negative engineering, <laughs> like a lot. Oh, I just noticed we broke 10K HP. That's nice. That's fair and reasonable. Let's not take torture. That seems like a bad plan. I would like getting a reroll for uh, tier four items when you hit that level up of like that tier is pretty neat. I will say, uh, yep, that's the one. That's, that's the one. I think I'm gonna take Cyberball and just lock the alien eyes. Okay, we'll steal the alien eyes and have both. That seems reasonable. Um, okie dokie. So yeah, this is where we're at here. Um, I mean, this is where we've been at the whole time in the spotlight standing still for 74 waves, which is whatever. That's fine. Um, Rotato is played in the shop for the most part. Some characters you have to like really try during the combat waves, but those are like the low HP characters and you have to avoid the bullet hell situations. Honestly, at this point, I'm really just excited for Baldur's Gate 3 to come out. I feel like I've only been waiting since... I don't know. They announced it. And then purchased in Early Access like three years ago. Which, it was really good in Early Access, but also... With those big CRPGs, I kind of like to... Know them I need to finish the game. Or like, go through the whole story. I'll take the med kit here. I mean, factory is so good. Um... Like, knowing that you can't, won't be able to finish a build or a character, you know, get to the end of the story, or get past level 4 in early access for most of the early access. Level 5 now. Kind of, like, limited the amount of fun I could have with it. But now, in like, two weeks, it's going to happen. I think I'm going to stream it. I know I haven't streamed in a bit. I've kind of been adjusting. I got glasses, like... If you watch the channel regularly, you'll know I got glasses a few weeks, like a week and a half ago. And um, 
it's definitely taken some adjustment time as far as like looking at the screen. Uh, I think I'm having less headaches though, which is really nice. Um, I, there, there's a lot going on on the screen right now, so it's probably good that I have them. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm starting to actually be able to like look at the screen for a much longer amount of time than I was uh, like a few days ago without getting like a bad, bad headache. So hopefully I'll be good to go for many an hour, um, you know, when that drops in about two weeks. And if I don't stream it, I'm going to make videos on it. So you can look forward to that. Um, I'm going to take Magic Mirror over Factory here. It's pretty close. I think Factory is insane. But Magic Mirror is my favorite item. Plus, we get to take Silver Bullet. And I feel like taking Silver Bullet's kind of powerful there. We're just rolling in the shop now. To, oh, I didn't want to spend money when I'm rolling. I forgot. We only have a few. We only have a few rolls. Yeah, I've also got a few roguelikes to check out. Um, I had some people contact me, some bullet heavens and whatnot. So there's a few things on the agenda. Plus, I still got to play Hades. And Cult of the Lamb. I, You know what? When I started this YouTube channel like a year ago, almost something like that, or when I started making videos, I played a little bit of Cult of the Lamb, but it wasn't like doing that well compared to like Rotato. And I was like, you know what? When I hit a thousand subs, I'll come back to it. Well, now we're at like 1500 something. And I haven't come back to it. I'll be at, it hap you know, 1500 happened a lot faster that, than the first thousand, right? But I do owe you guys, especially if you've been watching since the beginning, why not? Some more Cold War Clam. So that's gonna happen because I have not played through that game. And I, also, I kind of just want to play it. Uh, Magic Mirror? Yeah. Oh, um, someone mentioned, asked in the comments, I thought it was good to let it know. Magic Mirror does not count the level up screen items. It only counts um, in the shop, like right now. So we could take Alien Eyes, but that's almost redundant at this point. I feel like we would be better off. Ooh, we could take Triple Baby Elephant. Oh, you know, that's kind of... I'm going to lock it. I don't know if we want... I don't want Alloy, because that's too much down. You know what? I'm going to take the Baby Elephant. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's actually going to be decent. Because we have the coin that you get luck for every crit you have, and then, you know, obviously just the amount of luck that we have in general. And the percent damage so it's hitting for a decent amount and then again with that torn pocket synergy it's kind of good like i have a feeling when we look in the shop here in a second uh it's gonna have done a significant amount of damage it's kind of tough to tell though because i think most of our items are like competing for damage Like, most things die before they get to us. Otherwise, we'd probably have a lot more damage due to the, our melee weapons and the amount of mammoths that we took. Like, we have 909 melee damage. But, uh, oh, we're gonna take Warrior Helmet over Potato. Actually, actually, no, I want Dodge some luck if we ever take torture we kind of are screwed also same if we take power generator so i have to be a little bit careful in the shop i probably should have taken toxic spill there i take pokeball that's fine no, we don't need a coupon it doesn't do anything we're not spending money on items anymore take poisonous tonic it's crit it's good um let's take the alien eyes whatever all right and we get to steal something Oh. Um. Robot arms like. Okay, let's steal another Pokeball. I don't hate it. 
All right, nothing locked in the shop. That's weird. I'm really not worried about these elites. They did do damage to us though. They, they dealt like a thousand. I wonder if wave 80 is actually gonna show us some, some difficulties. There's literally nothing we can do. Like if we get, we have no way to move our character. So, It, it's really just about outscaling. Now, we do gain a bunch of HP every uh, every wave, um, like a lot, a lot. And I guess I totally forgot to look at Lucky Elephant, didn't I? My goodness, my memory is abysmal. Okay, that's fine. You know what? We'll, we're gonna look after this wave. It's gonna be all right gonna be all right oh man uh no 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 i mean we could have taken that but i'm trying to get more percent damage we don't need more melee damage head injury is fine ricochet we think we have enough i will take another leaf thank you and another leaf i love it uh, uh factory probably domino yep all right, little ele baby elephant in two waves has done 99 million damage. I mean, that's like not bad. Uh, I think infect's actually pretty decent. We can lock wheat. Yeah, we definitely don't want to spend our money here. We're getting a, a good bit from padding, so. Yeah, let's not. All right, wave 79. I didn't pay attention to how much HP we had exactly at the start. I know it was, was it like 11,900? I'm just gonna assume it was like 11,900. And we'll just see what we end up with at the end. I don't know. Uh, I have noticed that because we're getting items based on like the tags, it's like really heavily influenced. Like more so than it feels like in vanilla almost. That's why we keep seeing those, the grinds pop up. Especially when we have all these mods installed and there's extra, extra tier four items that could pop up, but we just keep seeing that one. It's pretty good. So we started at like 11, nine, and we're gonna end at almost 12, three. So like almost 400 HP, probably. A wave, that's decent. I'll take alien magic, sure. Lure is good. Uh, almost got me with a torture there because I almost double clicked. That would have been bad. I'm going to keep taking the leaf. When in doubt. Uh, mouse seems good too. 15% more enemies plus all the extra bonus economy stuff we have. I don't know. Toler tolerance is like... Okay, we want enemies to die faster than that. Take poisonous tonic. When in doubt, just take poisonous tonic. Yeah, I mean, I just said it. When in doubt, pay, take poison to stomach. Wave 80. All right. Um. Oh, they didn't even. They didn't even touch us. Wow. Wow. I will also say, if we ever hit 100% damage reduction, the run's over for the same reason of like having 100% dodge. If I can't, if I have zero chance to be killed, I'm like, I'm done with the run. So that's like, that's a win condition for me. Otherwise we'll just go as, you know, until it feels like it's over, I guess. I don't know, you guys keep wanting to see more and I'm not entirely opposed here. I definitely, at this point, I feel like we need to go to at least 100. The fact that we got actually touched a few waves ago is also fairly interesting. Like we're still at 98% damage reduction, so we're not even, we haven't even hit 99. But, <laughs> I don't think it's impossible. Do we want spider or do we just want to say it's 69 dodge? I mean, there's, 
Let's take the money. Pokeball. Uh, Vigilante ring over lure, actually. Statue is insane. Big arms is kind of great, right? Lure is still great. Okay, then we just take we and we roll three times, potentially. Was it five times? It's five times. Um, No, none of these are worth locking. All right, 81. Uh, basically the same as 80. Except we get less stuff. We're gonna break 13k HP now. Yeah, this is... This is broken. This is... Extremely degenerately broken. But the thing is, this would be really hard to replicate because we basically have to run these two characters together and constantly roll until we find another couch on the start. And, um, yeah, yeah. See, couch, couch is actually extra strong with the uh, item values going up and down because it gives you more negative speed and it gives you more HP regen for that negative speed. So we're getting like, it, it's like a self, <laughs> uh, self-contained bonus for that item, which some things do, which is kind of nice. Uh, I guess we take Scar, I don't know. I probably should have taken Glass Can in there, but like, it's kind of whatever. I feel like I don't need to think too much on all of these shop things. Yeah, like just lock the Vigilante ring and go on and end in a nice clean 235,000 materials. Seems okay. Um, our HP went down temporarily. I think mean, that said, I don't know if I don't know if it matters. See, the thing is, we're gonna have so much HP and so much damage reduction that I don't know that it really matters if we take damage. Like, they have to do a lot to us. And when you think about it, if we have 98% damage reduction and we heal, what, 450 a second or whatever it is now, it might probably 500 a second now. <laughs> They have to do, what, 99 times more damage than 500 per second to actually hurt us, right? Like, that's how that works. Oh, we're not quite at 500, whatever. Still, same thing. It's kind of ridiculous what they have to do. Also, um, I haven't mentioned it. If you've seen it, you probably know. We also have regeneration pot. So if we get under, uh, if we get under half, we're also getting double regen. So that's like, <laughs> that's really dumb. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep taking those. I'm not gonna take the hat because bad things could happen. We're, we're too deep to do that. I just take the vigilante ring, lock the med kit and move on with our life. We, I mean, we could reroll in the shop, but what does it matter? There's enough good stuff coming up. I don't think we need to really need to think about it. All right, so I've skipped ahead to about wave 90. Basically, nothing was happening. We didn't have to move. We got um, touched one time uh, in like those five or six waves I skipped, whatever. Uh, we now have uh, 17,500 HP and 585 HP per second region. Um, Alien Eyes is also hitting for 592,000 um, plus crit, so double that. Yeah, that's a big number down there. Anyways, wave 90, let's see what happens. They hit us for like a thousand? Okay. Okay, that's reasonable. Reasonable? I mean... It, it's gonna be difficult because I'd say we're getting like... One... Grinds magical leaf per 
wave now. Which is really starting to add up. So, I, I, don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to take this run to 100, so that's why we... That's why we skipped ahead. I think this video deserves to get to 100. If it doesn't, like... If I only did 20 and it was 90, and we got to wait 90, I feel like that would have been a little disappointing, so... That's what we're doing. We are on the way to 100. I don't plan on skipping anymore, but I reserve the right to in case I feel like it. Um... In the meantime, you guys can just listen to me talk for a bit. I'm gonna take this coupon so it just like stop showing up. So whatever. I'm not taking magical hat because bad things can happen. And at this point, I don't really want to like look at power generator. If we took that, it's minus sixteen hundred percent damage. It's pretty bad. Pretty not so good. Bad. Scared sausage does a lot of damage. I'm noticing. Like a lot, a lot. I'm actually just gonna take it. It's fine. Big arms is good too. Uh, we just take Lure again, lock the med kit, and go to the Wave 91 Elites. Um, yeah, they didn't, they didn't really do anything. So I have been wondering if I should be taking Spotlights, because there's an argument that at some point, like, their slowing effect could be relevant. But then at the same time, I'm thinking, no, I should just be taking, like, speed down and HP regen and tank stats, basically. We're basically just a super tank. Like, we're, like... I don't know. What's the best tank in WoW history? It, it, it's not fair to say, like, Classic Warrior, is it? That's degenerate. Wrath Pally? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. My memory is getting really bad. I feel like Wrath Pally was really good, but maybe I'm misremembering. Remember Druid was good at one point. I don't know. They're, they don't know how to balance that game. Um, so many items. Honestly, the amount of materials we're getting for each item is kind of absurd, too. Uh, I'll take focus. Damage is still good. See, there's another spotlight. I'm kind of... Yeah, we could take it. It's fine. Um... I didn't actually want any of those. I'd rather just have a warrior helmet. Yeah, and lure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all going good. There's another leaf. Let's try not to make sure we buy anything because... I'm trying to save our money. Oh, yeah. This is... Look at this perfect spotlight. Oh, if it does this every wave, I don't know what they're gonna do. Actually, maybe we need one more coming across the screen, like... Like, from bottom left to top right. You see it. I'm trying to move my mouse to, like, show you guys, but... Obviously, I feel like I probably can't see it with all the stuff going on right now. Maybe if we stay inside of this little red orb right now and play, like, a different game. Follow... <laughs> Follow the mouse pointer inside of the enemy projectile while everything else is going on on the screen. I don't know. I don't know. It's madness. This game is madness. So we're going to have two builds now on the 1.0 patch that have reached 100. Maybe it's easier. Maybe it's Maybelline. Um, really just, okay, Poison's Tonic's fine. I will take another leaf. Yeah, yep, stats are good. Stats are good. I think a baby elephant. Baby elephant's kind of great. Uh, I want all of this. I guess we'll take Lure first and then lock the helmet and med kit and go from there. I kind of wish that the game kept track of how many uh, how many like stat ups I've gained for my weapons. The problem is uh, every time we close the game, 
I, I, because of one of the mods or whatever, it doesn't show us like the continued stat game. So every time we hit resume, it doesn't. It basically erases anything we got before. Although I haven't done, I haven't like had to close the game since Wave 70. You know, since we started this video, so we should be able to see how many stats are ghost scepters have gotten us since at least the start of wave 70 which i think will be interesting if i can like remember to do that in the next i don't know 20 seconds or so uh whetstone's pretty good barricade's fantastic taking another alien eyes hopefully alien eyes doesn't break the game here at some point all right um 217 it's not very much Actually, the daggers have done pretty well, too. Eh, it is what it is. Peacock? We don't really need a peacock. Oh, we just want the leaf. Alright, wave 94. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe sp more spotlights is a good thing. Just because it slows. If it didn't slow, it'd be pointless. Like, I don't care about the extremely small amount of damage it does. We have, like, an absurd amount of elemental damage, but an equally absurd amount of negative engineering. So, unfortunately, because of that, it does very little. That said, for all that engineering down, we got... Or we're getting hundreds and hundreds of armor. Maybe a thousand armor now, I don't know. Probably close to it. Given the fact that it's for all of our speed down and half the items we take are speed down at this point. All this materials reminds me of when Streamer wasn't capped and you could just get infinite money. Uh, torn pocket, please, thank you. Yeah, Scared Sausage, you're not going to do it. It was a noble effort. Oh, take Steel for sure. Steal that and buy this medkit. And by buy, I mean Rob. I feel like I was going to look at something, but I've already forgotten what it was. Um, oh, it was the armor. Yeah, yeah, we have 1196 armor. Oh, we have 99% damage reduction? Whoa. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. All right, 95. Our, our HP went down for sure. But also we like we gained HP when we picked up all those, all those boxes, right? Because each box gives us like 66 materials. I don't know, we still lost like a couple hundred life. But what does a couple hundred life matter when we have 20,000? I don't know. This is ridiculous. We just have a constant stream of absurd income. Now I feel like I really, really want to hit 100% damage reduction. Because that's one thing I've never seen in Brotato. And let me tell you, I've played a lot of Brotato. If you look at my channel, you're going to see a lot of Brotato. I'll take Lego at speed down. Grinds is good. Domino. I'll take Pokeball first. Another lure. Wear your helmet. The one problem I have with this build is that I still have to go fairly carefully in the shop. Also, I love that spotlights are like symmet mostly symmetrical right now. Um, I love, I hate that I have to go like carefully in the shop to avoid literally a power generator and torture because those two items would literally kill the run. Torture less so than power generator. I think if we, if we removed all of our HP regen, I think we'd still probably be okay for a while because of our, just like our actual max HP at this point. 
but a thousand percent damage down would be a lot or not a thousand it's like 1600 it's probably gonna be like 2000 soon it would basically cut our damage in half or maybe less than that and quite frankly that's too much for us to survive uh yeah i'll take that sure sure yep yeah that's three of them why not um take the torn pocket lock the lure 97 97 i i didn't expect to be saying wave 97 and um anytime soon given that was it just like a couple weeks ago that we did this but here we are doing it in this potato stuff Just get so much HP away. I was kind of worried the game wasn't gonna start um, when I tried to open it today because um, I noticed it had an update, and it wasn't like a potato update. I think it was a mod. One of the mods had an update, and that always worries me that it's gonna break something. Um, statue, yep. Yeah. Barricade, yep. Yeah. Uh, med kits, fine. See, they're trying to get me with that torture. Always trying to get me. There's torn pocket. All right, wave 98. There's elites. There were elites. I mean, there's also the toxic going on. We've got like a 13% toxic factory, like multiple 13% toxic factories, and like they just lose 13% of their health on the first touch of the toxin. That's like a big deal. Maybe, I don't know. We're hitting for so much damage with alien eyes. I think if we had potato throwers, uh, I would basically have to stop the run at 100 because like there's, we would just never die. Nothing would ever get close to us either. We'd be literally invincible. Um, anything? No? Okay. They're trying to get me with that torture alert. Oh, oh, handcuffs is also bad. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Not, not looking to pick up any handcuffs. Sorry. Not sorry. Wave 99. Luck of warrior helmet. Still at 99% damage reduction. Pretty good. It's pretty pretty good and effective. Alien eyes, just uh, the literal pulsing wave of death that we have. It's pretty fantastic, honestly. And then it just ricochets around. We are almost there. Going into wave 100 with 20, wave 100 with 23,000 HP, almost level 300. And 450,000 materials, basically. Uh, no, we have our UAVs, we don't need more. It's really just trying to throw that torture at me. I would take big arms here, I guess. Uh, I'll take another spotlight. Why not? Metal detector, yes. Is scaling. Or why not? 
Warrior Helmet. Seems good. Locked Lure. And all right, Wave 100. Here we go. The moment of truth. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they're not even... <laughs> not even lightly a challenge. What a surprise. And I say challenge, but like... Come on, I'm not moving. My... I, my hand has not touched the keyboard in a large number of waves at this point, so it's become a mouse-only run. It's also a fairly profitable wave, right? Because we're at... We gained, what, 7,000 materials, 8,000 materials now? It's only going up. Ten thousand materials. I mean, all these metal detectors are really metal detectors plus torn pockets are really starting to pay off. It only took a hundred waves, but here we are. Statue, scared sauce, nah. Like, I mean, I guess I should take it because why not? But also, meh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, wheat is pretty good. Take the leaf. Just take the leaf. Take the statue. Factory is pretty good. All right. That was wave 100. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. Like that. Hit the like button. Comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel. All that nonsense. I really appreciate you all for watching. It's been another ridiculous run. I think we'll keep going just because like how dumb is this? But we'll have to see. Uh, we didn't hit 100% damage reduction. So if you guys want me to start a new run, let me know. If you want me to continue this one, I'll continue this one. But with that, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And bye. <laughs>